facilitate the of currency. It's not about currency. It's about skill and strategy. The currency was really only a scorekeeping mechanism. Fools could have their fleas. Losers could have their homes taken away. All finished? I found a malfunction in the starboard nacelle's plasma exhaust. It's not venting properly through the driver coil assembly. It's going to take a little longer than I estimated. I thought Starfleet engineers always worked faster than their estimates. Plasma vent leak! It's burning out! Get inside the shuttle and use your tricorder to bleed off plasma from the left computer console. The shuttle is going critical! Please hurry! That was close. Good job, Monroe. Come on, team. Let's show them what we can do. We need to exercise caution. These aliens are capable of impulse flight. They're capable of chewing through a tritanium hull. They're capable of falling over when shot. Be careful out there, sir. Hazard team, report in. The aliens have completely destroyed the lower environmental ring. No sign of the Dallas crew. I'm proceeding to the rendezvous point. The computer systems appear to be functional. Also, I found an Atrexian weapon that seems quite useful for dealing with these aliens. See you at the rendezvous point. The casualties are staggering. The medical wing is completely destroyed. I have found some survivors. I'll meet you at the command center once I've stabilized them. Fates have delivered us. Keep moving. Main power offline. Keep moving. Keep moving.
restored. Keep moving. Oh, help! I made it! I made it! I'm Lieutenant Monroe. Who were these invaders? We don't know. They just appeared about three days ago. They came from nowhere. Where's their ship? I was the engineer on duty when the attack began. There was no ship, no transporter activity, and no warp signature. Either we somehow never noticed hostile aliens living in our solar system, or their solar warp systems. technology is beyond anything we know. Where are their leaders? We haven't seen any. They seem to have no type of command structure. So how do they coordinate their attacks? We don't know. In between their attacks, they just seem to mill around like insects. And they charge in wave after wave with no thought of self-preservation. Pretty clever tactic for an insect. And effective. Our ammunition is gone. Is there an armory near here? Yes, there is one close by. But the last group we sent never came back. None of us will go now. No, Vengpa. One of us will. What? But Avaxtus? I'd rather die fighting than sitting here. I'm with you, Avaxtus. Show me the way. You are both as good as dead. This way. Thank you for helping us. Here's the weapons locker. Now what was that security code? Ah! I remember the code! Gas that bangle chain! 
Yeah. I forgot about the redundant security system. Don't worry. Yeah. I can buy this. Yeah. I think we're almost yeah. done. than to trust in that Federation person. What good is there in a suicide mission? It got us a few of these. By my progeny, you live! And we bring arc launchers. We'll put this to good use. You do that. Have you seen other members of Starfleet? Yes. A Federation ship requested emergency assistance three days ago. They transported their crew during an attack on their ship. But I haven't seen them since. Thanks. I've got to move on. All honor to your descendants. Hazard team, report in. I found an abandoned security station. I'm downloading their security codes. Chang here. I'm on my way to the rendezvous point. Resistance so far has been mild. Gerard to Monroe. I found medical supplies. I'm setting up an emergency field hospital. Sydney reporting in. I'm maintaining a safe distance from the station. Thanks, Lieutenant. Thank you for helping us. He just breached the inner wall. What's going on? We've caught one of the invaders. He's in the escape pod. Jettison the pod. Our controls down here are broken. There is a release switch on the second floor. It's in the master control room overlooking the pod. Can't you just go up there? The lift to the master control room is broken. I'll try to reroute power, but it still might not work. You activate that lift. I'll go upstairs and activate the switch. Escape pod launched.
Those invaders have disabled our defensive grid. We need to get our systems functioning again, or we're all dead. When Rota Enterprise... Go ahead, Lieutenant. The command officials are safe. No sign of the Dallas crew. They're coming. We're under attack. Lieutenant, protect the Atrexian command officials at all costs. Yes, sir. Stay close to each other. I'll protect you. What took you so long? We took the scenic route. convey our gratitude to your captain. You have the reverence of many future generations. Thank you, but I'd rather have some answers. Have you ever seen these invaders before? Never. Who are your enemies? We have no enemies. Well, we have ongoing problems with Atrexian smugglers, and Idril separatists, and occasional Cardassian vessels looking for easy conquests. Idril? A backward race. We've been assisting them for centuries. We've given the Idril the gifts of written language and the warp drive. But the Separatists are not grateful. They claim that many Atrexian systems are actually ancient Idril homeland. They've created a delusional fiction in which they are an older race than we. That should be easy to disprove. It is. But... Cherished superstitions die hard. Fortunately, most Idril don't believe the Separatists. We're wasting time. The aliens are not Idril. They must be an interstellar invasion force, like the Borg. Whatever they are, we can't get them out of the station until we get your defensive grid back online. Our security generators are in ruins. Don't you have backup generators? Yes, in the main power core, in the heart of the station. If we can figure out how to manually connect the backup generators to the grid, we could eliminate all invaders on the station. Only our chief engineer could do that. But I don't know where she is. I do. She reported in. She's trapped in an office near the main power core. Tell her I'm on my way. Hazard team, stay here and protect the Atrexians. Aye, sir. Ensign Gonzalez, USS Dallas. Lieutenant Monroe, 
USS Enterprise. We've just come from the Dallas. Did she make it? We got there too late. Those creatures tore the ship apart. Damn. Where's the rest of the Dallas crew? The lower habitat ring. It'll take a while for the creatures to reach them. Here are their coordinates. What are you doing out here? Looking for supplies. We weren't sure how long we'd have to stay down there. Monroe to Tuvok. I'm relaying the coordinates to the Dallas crew. We are beaming them out now. Are you ready to beam out? And let you have all the fun? I'm staying. Okay then. Let's find an Atrexian engineer and get that defensive grid cranked up. Find an alternate power source that'll open this door. If I get you to the main power core, can you get the defensive grid back online? Yes, but I need someone regulating the energy flow from here. I'll do it. Good. Stay here while I take Vorchov to the core. The main power core is below. We need to take the lift down. Let's go. I'll protect you while you reroute power. I'm heading to the generators. I have to get all three online or the grid will burn out.
Gonzalez, get us power. Power's on. Chell, turn on the weapon systems. Power's coming online now, Monroe. The grid neutralized the remaining invaders. The Atrexian space station is safe. I'm sending an away team to assist with the cleanup. Well done, Lieutenant. Thank you, sir. One to beam up. Lieutenant Monroe, we are waiting for you in sickbay. Thanks to the Hazard team, we have recovered many intact alien bodies. The doctor has studied their biological makeup. Doctor, how could a completely organic being contain a personal propulsion system? Genetic engineering at an unprecedented level. The carapace is sealed to provide protection from the vacuum of space. And their personal impulse drives generate enough heat to keep their muscle and organ systems metabolizing. What about intelligence? No clear determination. They do have large clusters of nerve tissue densely packed into the exoskeletal cranium, but it's not organized into any structures that we would recognize as a higher brain region. Fascinating. Lieutenant, what did you see in their behavior to indicate intelligence? Hard to say, sir. They were able to act cohesively and attack in groups, but they didn't appear to communicate with one another or formulate plans. They appeared to be acting mostly by instinct. That would argue against self-directed intelligence. I also found this, a non-organic device fused into a small nerve cluster at the base of the cranial region. What's its function? Unknown. The technology is too alien for any easy assessment. We're working on it now. Lieutenant, research the Atrexian people. We need to know who their enemies are. Aye, sir. I also want you to create new tactics for fighting these aliens. Aye, sir. Though our tactical wing is weaker without Franklin. That's a grave loss. I'll consult with Tuvok on a suitable replacement. If I may, sir, I'd recommend Ensigns Murphy and Gonzalez. They're both on temporary assignment to the Enterprise. Very well. I'll assign them both to the Hazard team. Thank you, sir. Lieutenant, you did well. A good man died, but many more live thanks to your quick thinking. Thank you, sir. Hi, Monroe. Telsia. I'm glad to see you up and around. I'm fine. There's no lasting damage from my time in the pattern buffer. You're lucky. That was quite a stunt. I'm ready to go back on duty. Good. Because I want you and Gonzalez on the hazard team. I'm glad to see Gonzalez on the team. He's an experienced combat tactician. Almost as experienced as you. I need your expertise to help me figure out these aliens. Is that all you need? I wouldn't mind having you help me do some research on the Atrexians. Hmm. No usual suspects here. The Atrexians seem to have made very few enemies. Pretty good for an expanding mini-empire with over 20 colony planets. Especially a mini-empire so close to the neutral zone. They were lucky enough to expand into systems not claimed by other races. And smart enough to stay out of the way of the Romulans. There's some unrest on Atrexian planets populated by other races. Same with many stellar empires. Ongoing problems with smugglers. Same with the Federation. But no angry species of semi-intelligent exoskeletal aliens. The Atrexians are a Federation candidate. If they join, Starfleet will get some prime bases near the neutral zone. Does that give the Romulans a motivation to attack them? With what? Their private army of semi-intelligent exoskeletal aliens? Then we may be looking at the first wave of an extra-dimensional invasion. Lieutenant Monroe, report to the Hazard Team briefing room. On my way.
Hazard Ops. We've traced the aliens to the fifth planet. The hazard team is going to Vioc Epsilon 5. It's an uncolonized Class M planet in a Trexian space. Sensors found trace levels of the propulsion signature left by the aliens' personal impulse drives. The aliens attacked the Atrexian space station from the fifth planet. But how did they get to the fifth planet? That's what we want you to find out. Is it inhabited? We have detected a shuttlecraft and multiple life forms but not the aliens you fought on the Dallas. However, there is an area where our sensors cannot penetrate. That area corresponds to the end of the propulsion trail. Other than that, the planet looks undisturbed by sentient creatures. Investigate and report back what you find. Aye, sir. Our answers are down on that planet. Corban, Talsia, Chell, you're with me. Shuttle design. Common engine, but the style's not in the registry. I'm tracking some life forms ahead. Alien invaders? No. <sighs> we'll look for them. 